Canada, at its simplest, most simple expression, will continue to stand with Ukraine with whatever it takes for as long as it takes. A year into the conflict that's upended Ukrainian lives and Europe's security, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau reaffirmed Canada's support for Ukraine with weapons. We will deliver four additional Leopard 2 tanks to the armed forces of Ukraine and an armored recovery vehicle. This is in addition to the four Leopard tanks already in the region, which CAF members are right now training Ukrainian tank members to use. The announcement came as the first batch of Western-made battle tanks arrived from Poland to an undisclosed location in Ukraine. Poland was next in line according to Russia's plans, said the Polish Prime Minister on a visit to Kyiv. By backing Ukraine's fight, he continued, We are making sure there won't be a line. As the somber anniversary prompted shows of solidarity from around the world, President Volodymyr Zelensky told reporters his country would defeat Russia in the next phase of the war. As long as Kyiv's allies remain united like a fist and continue delivering weapons. Next on Kyiv's wish list, fighter jets. Denmark on Friday said it was open to the idea, but so far Western nations have resisted sending heavy hardware capable of striking deep inside Russia. In addition to the Leopard tanks, Canada has also imposed new sanctions on several Russian individuals and entities and will also be sending Ukraine over 5,000 rounds of ammunition as the country readies itself for a possible new Russian offensive. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.